Well, y'all, we got to take Miss Holly to the vet. Guess what, Holly? You got to go to the vet. Yeah. I know you're probably not excited about it, but we got to go get you checked out and get your third set of shots and see what Dr. Doug thinks. Yeah. Arlo's not going to the vet, though. No, just Holly, her first vet appointment with us. Get her checked out and get her started on heartworm medicine and all that good stuff. Yeah, but first, we gotta change your clothes. We don't need, we don't put a clean one on. Yeah, we don't want that dirty one. We gotta get you a clean one on. Now, look at there. Nice and pretty. Yeah, nice and pretty. We are going to go take Holly for her first vet visit. And we're going to go see our old veterinarian, Dr. Doug. And he is in Marion, Alabama, which is about an hour from us. Uh, So, we're going to ride over there, see him, and let him check Holly out. We just know Dr. Doug. We love Dr. Doug. Plus, they also have all our records for other dogs. And Brooks said we're about to run out of uh, their preventative medicines as well. So, we're fixing to load up and take Holly on over there before this rain comes. I still think we got some rain coming. We're trying to beat it too. All right, Holly, Holly, Holly. We're going to go see the doctor and make sure everything's okay. Yeah. All those may be laughing at you, but don't let him, don't pay him no attention, okay? Don't pay him no attention. We gotta get you ready, Holly. Going to the vet. Yeah. Going to the vet. So one thing we need to work on with Miss Holly is, is riding in the car or the truck. She does not like, well not that she doesn't like it. It makes her a little nervous. <laughs> But we've seen her get over her fears of several other things since we had her. She wouldn't go up the stairs for days. And she finally figured that out. She wouldn't go down the hallway for a week. And she finally figured that out. Now that's like a runway. <laughs> her and Arlo and Gidget, they run up and down all the time. And she goes up the stairs all the time. And... We're supposed to be working with another gentleman about a handrail. So hopefully, guys, we'll get that taken care of. But in the meantime, Holly got over those two fears very quickly. I say very quickly. It took her several days. So we're hoping that this will help her overcome the uh, the little anxious, anxious feeling of riding in the car. Because she just hasn't done it. What are you doing, Holly? Tell everybody hello. Hmm? You telling everybody hello, buddy? Yeah. You tell everybody hello. Hmm? You are. Hmm. Oh my gracious. All right, so I'm gonna get Miss Holly's leash. Now, she doesn't walk on the leash well, but we're working on it. We're working on it. Ain't that right, buddy? We're working on it. All right, got Miss Holly some water in case she gets a little thirsty. Where you going? It's bad. Get just mad, fixing going on a little road trip, Holly. <laughs> yeah, going on a little road trip, girl. She's just a little unsure about things, but I think she'll eventually get used to it, just like she did the stairs, the hallway, and 15 other things that she was unsure about. <laughs> So she's actually doing way better than she has been. And we've only been riding for about 10 minutes. Way better. I knew she'd get used to it. She's even looking out the window. She is. Go TT first. Hmm? Come on. Hmm? Good. Okay. Let's go on in here. Come on. I gotta pick you up. 
I gotta pick her up. Okay, it's okay, baby. It's okay. It's okay. I gotta cut the camera off. I can't do it one handed. I've so if you want to go ahead and do the, the year for my little one, the zero to 25, okay. I need 12 of those. Um, Are you okay? Does that smell good? She's a sweet girl. <laughs> she's a little she's nervous. A sweet girl. Is that the same place you would do the Parvo only? Yep, right okay. there. Okay. I wouldn't take her to areas oh, outside yeah. of your property okay. until we get that parvo in three weeks and we she, did worm her too yeah i use panicure because yeah, i saw perfect. some i perfect. saw some worms mm -hmm. and um, now what what worms did you see i though? saw tapes so like rice yeah panicure's not going to get those okay what else do i need now i'll send you something You want John Tell or Verbantum? Panicure's white, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, that's what I use. You want the John Tell? Uh, yeah. I mean, I was going to just send Verbantum. Oh, okay. Since he's a young dog. Mm -hmm. But let's get away. Mm -hmm. She weighed 31 when we got her. <coughs> okay. And I don't know what she is today. Well, I guess he's going to do it again. Okay. Is it two days of Verbantum or just one? Uh, let's do two. And that should do, yeah, two, two days in a row. And I use next guard for my other dogs for flea treatment. Mm -hmm. Is that your preference still? Yeah, it doesn't matter because next guard or Brevecto, either one work great. Okay, so um, I'll just stick with the next guard. Stick then. with next guard. Okay. You're used to it. And I can take that 25 to 60 and just half it for her. Yeah. Okay. You can. How many of her panel? Four. When you put a dog under anesthesia, do the fleas jump off? If the temperature drops low enough, okay. but usually they don't. But on rabbits, they do, right? Yeah, rabbits right so No matter what the temperature. Well, now that I don't know. Okay. I can't answer that. Okay. And she needs to be stayed too. Yeah, that's that comes after we finish parvo and okay. get in line. Gotcha. We're okay. always behind on surgeries. Gotcha. <laughs> do I start the um, worm peels today? Yeah, you start this afternoon. Okay. Good deal. All right, so Holly is perfectly fine. She's good to go. And she got her shots. And since so we don't have to come back, we got the Parvo. We're going to do that ourselves, her booster. And then we have to wait 10 days after the Parvo's done, which we'll give her in three weeks. And then... We can half set her up to have to be spayed. So we are good to go. You did really good, Holly. Yes, you did. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Now let's get home before the rain hits. Yeah. Well, Miss Holly did very well, don't you think? Yes, Holly did very well. She did do well. So happy to have Mr. Doug or Dr. Doug. Yes, Dr. Doug is awesome. Yeah, we just love Dr. Doug. He's been our vet vet for 20 since we've been married. Gosh. Before we were married. Yeah, forever. Every dog we've ever owned together has it's and cat gone to Dr. Doug. So I'm so glad to have that visit behind us. Yes. On a potentially rainy day. Right. That we couldn't do anything else on the farm. Yes. <laughs> That's how we have to work our appointments. It is because there's always so much to do and so much going on that when we have a weather day, we do things that we can't do outside. And like this, doctor's appointments, um, just all kinds of stuff that we can do. Like you know, when we get home, it's probably going to be raining, so we'll be inside. So I do things there. And I'm thinking about organizing seeds. While I take the Christmas tree down. Oh, we got, we do got to take Christmas ornaments down too. I forgot about that. Yep. So, lots to do. Lots to do. On a rainy day. Come on. Let's go in before the rain hits us. Come on. You can go tell everybody about your visit to the doctor. Yeah. Come on. Let's go tell everybody. Come on. Hey, Lolo. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Good.
this for Halloween. Oh, Hollywood. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> nasty rainy weather outside and we're stuck inside this is the perfect time for me to organize my seeds i've been storing my seeds in cardboard boxes shoe boxes plastic ziploc bags and i went and bought me some of these containers that are made for like hobbyist pitchers or what a baseball cards whatever you wanted to put in them but it comes with these little containers like this and then this little container goes inside of a larger container, like a tackle box almost. And look, I got all my seeds in here and I got them labeled. It's, it's so awesome. And this is my summer crops I got in here. I fix and start on my fall and winter crops. And it keeps my seeds so organized and I can stack them up. And then when it's time for me to plant, Oh my gracious, it's going to be so much easier than me than, than what I've been doing. And that's going through the cardboard boxes and pulling seeds out and they're all loose and they spill out. And this is going to be way better. I want, I started off buying two. I'm going to need way more than two, but I bought two just to see if it was going to work and it's working. I'm going to buy some more because I got herbs to do and I got flowers to do. So I'm going to buy some more of these guys, but Y'all, it's absolutely working out perfectly. And let me show you what I'm doing here. Let me show you. So I got all my seeds to kind of categorized out over here on the floor. And so kohlrabi is, is up next. So I will take my kohlrabi here, seeds, and I'm just gonna stick them in my little container like so. And then I'm gonna take my little label maker and just type it on out. And I'm loving this label maker. Oh my gracious. You'll find yourself making labels for all kinds of stuff. <laughs> and look, here it comes. And boom, and that is it. I'm gonna close it up like so. Now all my karabi seeds are contained in here. Gonna put my little label on it. And there we go, we got kohlrabi, and it's gonna go right on in here, like so. I'm loving this. So, me and Holly, who, bless her heart, is wore out from today, going to the vet. We're gonna finish up and do all these seeds here for the um, fall and winter garden, and get them labeled, categorized, and put in our little boxes. And I'll put a link down below where I got these boxes. I just bought them off Amazon. And that's where the label maker came from too, if you guys are interested in this, because I know a lot of you probably will be, but I am absolutely loving this. Man, this is great. <laughs> some more of these and then on the next rainy day I'm gonna organize some more seeds y'all look y'all look who's doing much better now that uh that she's getting a little rest after her what are you doing <laughs> after her vet visit she is doing a okay ain't that right girl yeah she is just fine. She is. I know she's gonna be happy come tomorrow morning when she can get outside and do them chores. Ain't that right, girl? And we're doing just fine here on the farm too after this big storm system that just came through. Ain't that right, girl? Yeah. Mm, and I'll be happy too when I can get outside and out on the farm and not locked up in this house all day. Ain't that right? Mm-hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. 